Hello, Eagle Song Gardener. Today uh, we're in the kitchen at Ravencroft Garden and I'm going to be making two preparations with hawthorn, flower, and leaf. I'm going to show you this hawthorn, flower, and leaf. It's mid-April and it won't be long before the hawthorns are blooming. So I just want to get you a little bit ready for the hawthorn, flower, and leaf harvest season and enjoy these plants as part of your natural environment. All right, so today we're going to put, um, well, first we have to weigh out the hawthorn. The first tea I'm gonna make though, doesn't require weighing or anything. It just requires putting some of the hawthorn, the flowers and the leaves, both are used in this tea preparation. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a pint of tea. I like doing it in these glass jars. Now this is like any kind of loose tea. You can make it as strong as you like or as light as you like. It's just a real pleasurable tea for drinking. And I find that just about this much in a jar is perfect for a great spot of tea in the mid-afternoon. My water's boiling, I'll be right back. So we just take boiling water and add that to the jar. If you had a teapot, I just love to see the tea in the jar or in as it's infusing. So I have a, um, I, I like using the pint jars. All right, so that just ends up steeping for anywhere from five to 10 minutes and then you're ready to enjoy a cup of tea. I started some this morning and you can see how beautiful it is when you actually allow the plant material to rehydrate. You get this amazingly beautiful floral bouquet and it really is a floral bouquet. All right, the other thing that I'm gonna to make today is a long infusion. This is gonna be hawthorn flower and leaf. That's one ounce to one quart of boiling water. And we just keep our hawthorn flower and leaves. After they're harvested, I put it into a brown paper bag, roll down the top, tape it, and then put it in the freezer for about two weeks. And then I take it out. The freezing really helps to um, if you have any, if there's any little moths or bugs or anything in there, freezing helps to prepare it so that they're not going to be a problem that comes back to haunt you later. Keeping flowers and leaves of any plant is a tricky business because they, uh, there's a lot of creatures who want to eat them too. Okay, so we've got our one ounce there. And now just put this in the jar. It's really, really simple. And it makes a really delightful tea. Now this one is stronger. This is more like a concentrate. You can see we're really putting the flowers and leaves in this jar quite full. It's quite astringent. When you make it soft as a tea, the quick infusion, it's not, it's just really pleasant. This is quite astringent. So we have two different preparations that we can make using the same plant material. This one can either be used as a concentrate that you can then thin down with water and drink later, or if you're looking for some kind of an astringent toner for the skin or any other place where you wanna to tone up and tighten tissue, Hawthorne, if you have it on hand, is a good ally. Back to the boiling water, and then we just top it off with boiling water. Now you want to be sure that your water has come to a complete boil. It really makes a difference in the final preparation if the water has boiled, uh, gotten totally to boiling. Okay, so we just stir that. Incorporate water, make sure the water and the plant material are totally 
um, saturated and then you set that aside for four to eight hours to draw out that ta the tannins that really help with that astringency high in bioflavonoids this particular part of the hawthorn um, so it's really a great herb for improving your immune um, function in your body but really it's a great tea just to have on hand as a pleasant beverage to drink and that's where we at with hawthorn flower and leaf today eagle song at ravencroft garden come on over and see me at eaglesong-gardener.com i look forward to seeing you over there all right till we meet again